the Campodactyl. <laughs> Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. This is Kempidactyl and we are here for a spooky combo video. So we got three combos for you today and it is uh, spooky themed. We are doing three different Devil Girl combos today to celebrate October. So without any further delay, let's dive right into it. Do not forget to like this video, comment what you thought of it and subscribe to help out the channel. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate it. And make sure if you are buying something in the item shop to use code KEMPOFAM. That's K-E-M-P-O-F-A-M, KEMPOFAM. Let's dive in. Right, so we are starting off with Desdemona, probably the newest of the three, I would say, and probably my favorite. Um, one of my favorite skins in the game of all time. She's like right behind Dusty, I would say. Um, she got delayed when she released, um, so when she like finally dropped it, it was like a huge deal. So Desdemona is just simply awesome. Um, she got this awesome trucker hat. Man, you, you get like a you get like a badass girl with tattoos and a, and a baseball cap. I'm good to go. So <laughs> we went with the Oni's curse. I will note that when I use long-haired skins, I do not use back blings. I like to see the hair physics flowing around in the game. Uh, it just looks a lot better, but for the sake of the combo video, we're doing a full loadout for you. So, the Oni's Curse back bling. We got the Burning Axe. Reminds me of my favorite movie, Tenacious D. One of my favorite movies, I should say. Okay, it's got a nice swing to it. All right, nice swing. Awesome, awesome axe. Just, of course, matches the vibe. Uh, she, with those overalls, it seems like she would be kind of a handy-dandy person. So we have the, if I can see the name, Junk Bucket Glider. All right, from the Storm Scavenger set. Colors match, five matches. All right. The Renegade Blaze is what we did. We got that Hellfire coming out of all of her limbs there as she dives on down to the island. She's going to impale somebody with those horns for sure. We got Shredded Red. Um explanation really is just because she has dark on her like dark black dark gray and then we have the uh, metallic red just to kind of give a little bit of shine to that gun that you're going to use in game i do like simpler gun wraps i don't always need them to be animated and fancy just kind of a personal preference i like to use what's really suited best for the colors i don't mind if it's not animated or anything like that so that is desdemona probably my favorite of the three let's move on we have malice now this one is kind of funny for halloween because there's so many people that use this quote this time of year and it makes me laugh every time. It's, I love Halloween. It's the one time of year I can dress up like a hoe and nobody is going to give me a hard time about it. So this skin not only is badass, but it kind of represents that. Because, I mean, come on. Fortnite doesn't really make skins this revealing anymore, but holy smokes. <laughs> um, so the cool thing about it, though, is all the molten parts on it. Look at the horns. Molten horns, molten tail tip, molten ripped shorts, molten ripped arms, molten ripped upper jacket, um, ripped stockings molten fishnet and then molten high heels they just went all out with the vibes on this one she looks like you know she would you would find her at a slipknot concert or something like that um the spectral spine we used because i wanted to kind of give her a bit of a futuristic vibe i didn't want to do wings twice because the next one of our combos has wings we have that molten orange at the bottom and it fades into red as you get closer to her skin so i really love that it, it feels like it's on fire with the rest of it uh, we went with core cutters i'm not a huge fan of dualies but i do try to use them sometimes in combo videos because i want variety um the core cutters she's got this biker vibe it looks like something that she would be carrying around in her jacket pockets right i could see her taking those out of her jacket pockets even though harvesting tools are pretty big in game Okay, the Ghost Glider. Okay, self-explanatory. She's got this really cool, spiky, badass bike, uh, biker vibe. Um, so this was a no-brainer. She's going to surf on it too, so it's going to look really cool. Uh, lava. Okay, we have this molten theme going on, so of course we're going to do a Lava Contrail. Um, as far as the gun goes, this is, I believe, one of the most expensive gun wraps in the game. It's like 700 V-Bucks just for this. Um, that aside, it matches the vibes the best. So... That is Miss Malice. Definitely, probably, she's probably my least favorite of the three, but all of them are so good, so it's it's really hard to pick. But uh, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have Shiver. This was really rare for a while. It's such a good design. I love that it's almost like a cyberpunk frozen devil girl. Like, what? What kind of awesome design is it? We don't get skins this cool anymore. We just don't. Um... So she's got the same vibe as Malice with the molten heels. 
except there's running shoes, but it's just the heels that are on fire. I just love that. Uh, and then we have these kind of molten wrists that she has. It kind of gives the vibe that if you took those gloves off, there would be fiery blue hands under there. Um, so this is what we did for wings. She comes with her own wings, but they don't look as good in my opinion. So we went with Valkyrie's wings from the Harbinger set. All right, I think they look fantastic. The ponytail falls right into the middle really, really nicely. Um, for the glacial rift edges, this is actually the second edit style for it. So if we go in here, uh, you can actually see that they are originally like this, and they go with um, ice drift or frozen drift, and you can actually change it to this, which it took me way too long to figure out. I think I owned these for... Um, like six months before finding that out and i was in game and i was like dude what is that he's like oh it's the drift pickaxes for like the ice version just the other style i'm like there's another style for that <laughs> so finally we figured it out and we used it for this combo um we have the nunbola glider all right i absolutely love this it looks like it would be her pet um she's got these dragon vibes so of course she tamed a legendary ice dragon to ride down to the island on ice crystals self-explanatory is an older one um, I think it's from Battle Pass. It's really, really cool. The crystals fall off you as you fall. Gives us those cool winter vibes and then kind of matches the fact that she's got those flames on her hands and wrists and actually makes sense. Frosty Glow, we could have gone for a more realistic looking ice wrap, but I just love Frosty Glow so much. I think it's calming and peaceful and a little bit cartoony with the cell shading. Um, I just really, really like it. I do think it matches quite well for being a little more cartoony. You just don't see it that much, so... There we go, that's it, that's all. Let's head into Team Rumble and check out these combos. Okay, here we go, diving on down with Desdemona. Of course, the flames look quite good. Love the whole look we have going on here already. We're gonna deploy the junk bucket. Bam, there we are. Seamless colors, everything ties together really nice. Same reds, same dark shades of gray and black. Love that we have like the chainsaw chain going on both sides. We'll finish diving down. Take another look at the contrail. Bam, look at the smoke coming out of that contrail too. So, so cool. Love how reactive it is. Everything just, it's a whole vibe. And once again, I will remind you that I do not use um, back blings with, you know, long haired skins. So normally this hair would be flowing nicely. All right. As far as the pickaxe goes, there's that nice splash that we saw in the locker. All right. We'll do a little stop and spin here. That's the whole vibe we're working with right here, okay? Let's get our guns out. Okay. Um, the problem with this heavy assault rifle is you actually don't see the wrap very well. There we go. Looks great with a shotgun. All right. Do a little building here as if we're fighting. I'm failing to sweat because I'm not sweat. Boom. All right. That is... Desdemona, how excellent is she? Such a good skin. It truly is, truly, truly one of my favorites in the game. Just fantastic. Super well balanced. I have nothing negative to say about it. It's just so good. It's so good. <laughs> Let's move on to the next. Okay, guys, here we are diving on down with Malice. We actually have a nighttime setting for her, which is pretty good, especially for the back bling. As you can see, the magma uh, contrail takes up a lot of screen, but it still looks pretty cool. You know, it, it matches everything that we want, but um, this is why, too, I suggest you don't always have to have a contrail. But bam, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that deploy. Watch this. Oh man, that is just perfect. And she surfs on it like a freaking pro. Look at the tail hanging out. She is just ready to absolutely destroy somebody. And the fact that we have all the flames on the motorbike as well. And then we have the flames on her heels. It's almost like the bike is just like an extension of her, you know? Just like Ghost Rider. Wow, that is just fantastic. The color of the back bling is just really blending with those flames. What a great, great skin to be lucky enough to get light, uh, nighttime with. Okay. Take a look at these pickaxes. They don't have a special splash, but as you can see, they do work really nicely with her. We could have done something molten, but we have enough molten, I think. These are really, really nice, especially for dualies, which I don't quite like as much. They are quite good. Let's take a Another little look here. Okay, this back bling is just really doing everything that I want it to. It does look really bright during the daytime, I noticed, while I was loading into this game. But otherwise, it's perfect. It really is. All right, let's take a look at our guns. Once again, back to our molten theme here. Everything is just pulled together 
really, really well. And look at the back bling on her ADS there, too. It's like reflecting her actual spine. It falls under her back so nicely. You know, some skins, just the way they're designed, back blinks don't really fall down onto the back, you know what I mean, nicely. Like, um, for example, the Easy Reach looks really good on a couple skins. Other skins, just because of the way the back is structured, does not look very good. So, and at night, look at those glowing horns, too. We'll take a peek on this ADS. Look at those glowing horns. Just so, so cool. All right. Let's take a look at her in the moonlight here, because we don't really have sunlight. There we go. There's Malice. All right. Super, super cool skin. Love it. I'm glad we got the lighting for it, too. All right. Let's move on to Shiver. Okay, folks. Here we go. Diving on and down with Shiver. As you can see, this contrail is quite subtle. Unlike the lava contrail we had. Same kind of animation. A little bit more, like, relaxed. The motorbike is really, really aggressive. This is very chill. She kind of just flies and then waits for the Nunbola glider to fly up underneath her. It's really, really cool. Look at the mist coming from the dragon. Everything is just so cool. All three of these combos are so good. I absolutely love all of them. I'm sorry for the train in the background, but eh, no control over that. It wants to come through town and make sure everybody knows it's here. <laughs> Let's get down to the ground here with Shiver. Man, it really wants us to know it's here. All right, so here we have her on the ground. Let's check out this pickaxe animation. All right, there we go. Oh, perfect, it's indestructible. So it's pretty subtle, but you get little ice shards, you get little snowflakes, all right? Let's take a look at it on a normal surface. Little ice shards, little snowflakes, a nice little contrail coming out the back of it. Very, very clean pickaxe. Really, really nice and clean. And as you can see, this is the only one of our combos with wings. The wings actually do react to you jumping and stuff. All right, and I'll build up a little bit. See, they kind of, they do have their own physics, which is really, really cool. So let's take a look at our frosty glow wrap. All right, you see, I like what it does. I really like it brings in that cell shading. It gives us that very wintry feel. Like I said, you could have gone with a bit more of a realistic one, maybe something that would go a bit better with the horns, but I really, really like Frosty Glow. I just kind of wanted to showcase it for this combo video. So that's what we have there. And ADS, our wings don't even get in the way. So if you're a wing enthusiast, you know, this might be the combo for you. Not only do they not get in the way of the ADS, the hair falls nicely into the middle of the back. All right, let's do a little bit of building here. Okay, take a look at the wings reacting to what we're doing here. I think we're getting pushed, but I don't know. All right, thunder pump, boom. Awesome, love it, love it. All right, let's take a little spinorama for Shiver here. We've got a nice daytime for her with all these bright colors. Fantastic, all three of these skins, such, such excellent designs. Um, love the tails, hey, Mr. Bear. <laughs> love the tails, love the horns on all of them. Just Simply fantastic. I had such a great time making this combo video. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Campodactyl. Let me know what your favorite one was. And once again, don't forget to use code Campofame in the item shop. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.